In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how you can quickly build customizable admin UIs using the Service Stack View Components Library and Auto Query Services. We'll walk through how this admin UI can grow with your application by enabling developers to go from a table to a beautiful admin UI page in just minutes. Your Service Stack application already provides a built-in admin UI that uses your auto query services with the low-code application. This approach is a great default way to manage your relational database, enabling developers to focus on customer-facing UI features. Low-code uses the auto query services you have configured with your specific database tables to provide a fully featured grid and generated forms to query, filter, sort, and manage the data in your application. In the early development of your application, this usually works fine, but it's common to find there are some UIs and workflows that need to be optimized to save admin users time in managing the application's data. So while low-code provides a lot of functionality by default, it doesn't have the same extensibility as you can get with a fully custom UI. However, the functionality of low-code can be replicated in your own UI quite quickly, since low-code uses the Service Stack View Components Library for all its features. This, along with a simple modern JavaScript approach, we can reuse these components with minimal fuss since we can avoid build tool complexity by using JavaScript modules by themselves. Components like Auto Query Grid and Auto Forms work directly with your Service Stack application by using your service metadata to generate working grids and forms to interact with your services, removing the need for a lot of boilerplate code while still providing points of extensibility. During the development of the Creator Kit, a self-hosted open source alternative to MailChimp and Discuss, we started with low-code and then wanted to provide extensible, customizable UIs for a better user experience. During this development, we encapsulated this approach in the Service Stack View Components Library and the View MJS project to make it easier to reuse. We created a sidebar layout view component based on Tailwind's responsive sidebar navigation to help speed up the development of linking these admin pages together in a single portal. This removes even more boilerplate code while still making the contents of each page completely customizable. To better demonstrate how you can use this functionality, here we have a new solution using the View MJS project template. You can create this yourself from the GitHub project template or by using the servicestack.net x tool with the command x new space view hyphen MJS space my app. Once created, we can open the solution in your favorite .NET IDE and we can see the usual four projects. If you want to learn more about the Vue MJS project template, we have a dedicated video for which I'll leave a link in the description. Running the application, we can log in with the example admin user and we have a new admin link at the top right. Clicking this will take you to an admin portal. This is a Razor server-side rendered admin portal that provides an example of managing the data for bookings and coupons. If we open up the app host project and the pages directory which contains our Razor pages, we can see the admin directory with this functionality. Our layout.cshtml file has our sidebar layout view component that is using sections as a variable declared server-side at the top of this file. This enables us to be able to quickly add new admin UI pages just by adding a new entry with a name, path, and icon to build our left-hand sidebar menu. Opening the index.cshtml, we can see how the dashboard is rendered using some page statistics from the admin data service using standard Razor syntax with Tailwind. The bookings.cshtml file, which has the full functionality of the same low-code page for bookings, has just one view component declared. The customizations here for the booking grid is controlling which columns we want, what we want their titles to be, as well as how we want them to display on smaller screens, making it a responsive grid. 
The auto query grid view component has everything we need to integrate the bookings auto query service to provide the create, read, update and delete functionality as well as the ability to customize columns, titles and responsive breakpoints. Opening the coupons.cshtml file, it's even simpler since we don't use any of those customizations. So moving from low code to a custom admin UI can be done with just one auto query grid view component on a page and the layout can be used with the sidebar layout component to make your paths easy to declare and manage. If you don't want to use Razor server-side rendering, you can use the Vue.mjs template with the same view components and you get a blazing fast client-side application. Navigating to the dashboard and the template also provides an example of doing this client side. Here we can see a link called client rendered admin that looks the same, but this time it isn't using Razor at all. We can see that the path to the client side admin UI is forward slash portal. Opening our app host project again and navigating to the www root directory, we can see the portal folder with an index.html file. Here we have our main view template using a declared sections JS object literal that defines all the sections you want in your admin UI. This includes the menu item on the sidebar, the title of the page and the view three component body to display when it is selected. Each section supports an overridable icon, label, title and grouping as well. To better show how we can put all this together, let's create a new auto query service from scratch and incorporate it into the admin portal as a new admin page. Here we have another table called room containing some additional information about different room types for our bookings so we can manage them in the database instead. First, we will declare a room model class where we will declare matching property names for the columns of the data we want to query from the database. Next, we will declare a query rooms request DTO inheriting from query DB and specifying the room model class as the model we'll be using for this query. And then add the create, update and delete room request DTOs implementing the iCreate, iPatch and iDeleteDB interfaces. We then populate these request DTOs with the properties we want that will flow on to the auto forms generated in our admin UIs. And that's all we need for our auto query service. Next, we could add a new JS object in our sections literal on the index.html page in the portal directory. Here we'll declare a new entry called rooms with type room, declaring a component with a template with just the default auto query grid component. Refreshing our portal page and we now have a new rooms entry. Here we're using an icon on the client, but we can also specify it with the icon attribute on the request DTO. We went from having only a table in our database to this fully functional admin UI page to view, sort and filter our data in less than a minute. And since this is using view components, you can customize this however you want. We can see a larger example of using this same approach in the Northwind Auto example project. Here we have the full Northwind sample database that's able to be managed with a custom client side portal just by expanding the sections object literal. Some pages we can just use the default auto query grid view component with no customizations, but others we can alter however we like to improve the user experience. Here at ServiceStack, we also use this approach to build a whole new admin UI for our viewport of the Blazor Diffusion application that we called View Diffusion. This application also uses ServiceStack view components and produces a fast statically generated site for a whole new UI on the Blazor Diffusion API. The ServiceStack view library enables developers to build great looking admin UIs fast, while still giving you complete control over the pages, presentation and functionality if you need to improve it for specific workflows. This frees up development effort to focus on the features that add the most value to your specific application, whilst giving you the flexibility to adapt your UIs as your application grows.
Well, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. If you want to know more, check out our other videos and join us in the ServiceStack community through our Discord and GitHub discussions. ServiceStack is free for individuals and open source projects, so anyone is welcome. And as always, thanks for watching.